For any fans of modern metal or prog music, you'll know that your instrument needs to be able to handle a lot more tones than ever before. I think the John Brown Schechter Tal absolutely nails that. Let's check it out. <laughs> John Brown from the band Monument is a prolific player in the modern metal scene and certainly the release of his brand new Schecter at the start of 2023 certainly turned a few heads for fans of the genre. The brand new Azure Blue Tau doesn't really stray too far away from the original purple model, but we didn't do a video on that one, so let's go over some specs. The Tau comes in a few different variations with a 6, 7, and eight string model available. I've got the seven in my lap right now and I've got the six just on the wall there. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to get my hands on the eight, but I have played the purple one and it feels just as good as these two models here. The body is made out of swamp ash and it's got a really nice weight to it. So if you do plan on playing this for a long gig, I think it's gonna be really comfy for you. Unlike the other purple model that has a flame maple top on it, this has just got a solid blue azure finish to it, which I think looks really, really cool, especially compared to the unfinished back of this guitar. Neckwise, it's a five-piece Wenge and Paduk neck with two carbon fiber rods in it for increased stability and easy adjustment with the truss rod wheel just right down at the bottom there. 24 X jumbo stainless steel frets on an ebony board and each variant has a slightly different radius to compensate for the extra strings. 24 X jumbo stainless steel frets on an ebony board come on each of the variations but each one of them has got a slightly different radius and scale length to compensate for the extra strings. So the six string has a 25 and a half inch scale with a 16 inch radius. The seven has got a 16 inch radius as well, but it's actually got a 27 inch scale length. Whereas the eight string still has the 27 inch scale length, but it has a super flat 20 inch radius. And all of those have got the extra thin U-shaped neck as well, which is just super comfy to play. And especially with the satin finish on it as well, you're not gonna have any stickiness when you're doing some crazy riffs on this thing. The headstock, much like its purple counterpart, has also got the matching headstock to the body finish, which I just think is always a super cool look, as well as black hip shot locking tuners on the back there. Rounding at the hard way, it's got a hip shot hardtail bridge. It's got one master volume, which is a push pull to split the coils, as well as a three way selector for the pickups. And on the topic of pickups, it's loaded with custom USA Schechter pickups with a Chaos Breaker in the bridge and a Colossus in the neck, specifically voiced for this guitar. So that pretty much rounds it out for the specs. It's not too much to get your head around and really this is meant to just be a kind of, you know, getting in play sort of a guitar. So let's check out some tones with both the six string and the seven string. All the sounds we're getting today are directly from a Line 6 Helix. So let's check that out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hopefully some of the sound examples just show you the absolute wide variety of tones that you can get from this, especially with the ability to split the humbuckers to those single coils, you can really get those like really crushing kind of low end sounds from the hums, and then if you want those kind of like more crystally kind of cleans, certainly just pop the push pull up there and you're already in that territory. So certainly if you're a predominantly metal player, whether that be you know on stage or just in the studio or a bit of both, I think this guitar will totally cover you for everything that you need to do. Now certainly it's a little more catered to big riffs and you know kind of some of those sparkly cleans as well, but I think you'd be quite surprised in how well this, you know, you can play anything on it just because of just how easy these guitars are to play. Like, I don't think I've felt as skinny a neck in this in quite a while, to be fair. A final point I do want to make in the video is particularly something that I've seen certainly fellow Schechter and Dorsey, Aaron Marshall of Interval do with his signature model with Schechter. And I imagine this is a combination of Schechter and the artist, but the decision to make specifically this guitar and Aaron Marshall's signature models Export made, I mean this guitar is made in South Korea, it just means that the signature models of the, uh, these artists, specifically for anybody who is a fan of them, it's in a much more obtainable sort of price bracket. Like don't get me wrong, this guitar is kitted out with some amazing stuff and it certainly sits in that kind of mid-tier of guitar pricing, but it's certainly a lot more obtain obtainable than some of those maybe, you know, premium kind of USA prices that we've expected to see on a lot of signature models. And certainly with that decision, it just means that it can be in players' laps a lot easier, which, to be honest, is great in my eyes. And even if you aren't a huge fan of John Brown or Monuments, there isn't anything on this that immediately screams that it's a signature model. Like, there isn't even a signature on it to say that it's his. So, I think if you're just looking for an incredibly high-spec kind of metal leaning guitar, then you need to check this thing out. But tell us what you think, are you planning on riffing on one of these guitars? Let us know down in the comments and give us a like and a subscribe while you're down there, it would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, I've been Kieran and this is the John Brown Signature Schechter Taos. Have a great day. <laughs>